Hello and welcome back. I'm your host Sethath and today as you can see we're with the recently unveiled Kia Carens which is going to become the fourth product in Kia's lineup for India and will be slotted between the Seltos and the Carnival. Now as you might already know the Carens is based on the same platform as the Seltos but then it looks nothing like the Seltos. So here today we are at Kia 360 Cyber Hub to tell you all this to know about the new MPV. So do watch this video till the end if you haven't subscribed to us yet do hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up if you like our work as always starting with the looks at the front end the carens looks nothing like the seltos which is of course a pretty good thing because it manages to have a unique distinct identity up front the highlights include these very sleek y shaped led drls and then there's this wide bumper with a huge air dam and a lot of chrome which i believe the car buying lot will totally love Moreover the upper grille has been closed out and you get some shiny black plastic over here and then some more chrome and all of it means that the Carens looks nothing like the Seltos and that I believe will help it establish its own identity in the market even in the side profile the Carens doesn't look much like the Seltos over here you get 16 inch dual tone alloy wheels which look pretty sporty moving ahead you get chrome on the belt line chrome on the door handles and flush fitting roof rails My favorite bit of course would have to be the design of the D pillar which together with this thick chrome applique will probably remind you of the MG Gloucester. Moreover, one thing that's for sure is that the Carens is a pretty long car and definitely a shoe size larger than the Kia Seltos. Like the front and the side, even the rear end is completely different from what you get on the Seltos. You get these stylish wrap around tail lamps with a very fine glow pattern and this huge led bar that runs between the two units moreover there's a roof mounted spoiler which infuses some sportiness into the design and finally again like the front even the rear bumper has tons of chrome a quick walk around of this car is enough to realize that this is a pretty long pretty large car but then if you talk about the figures let me tell you that the wheel base of the car is the best in its segment and even larger than what the hyundai alcaz are offers this car measures 4540 mm in length 1800 meters in width and 1700 millimeters in height its wheel base stands at 2780 millimeters in comparison the alcazar measures only 4500 meters in length 1790 millimeters in width and 1675 millimeters in height which is again shorter than the carens even its wheel base at 2760 millimeters is 20 millimeters shorter than what the carens offers and just to give you another perspective the wheel base of the carens is even 30 millimeters longer than what the toyota innova cresta offers Unfortunately we can't show you the carens from inside but one quick look through these windows reveals that this is a pretty upmarket cabin like the exterior even the interior won't remind you of the Seltos which is not at all a bad thing because then this car looks a tad bit more premium its dashboard definitely looks like it belongs to a car from a higher segment the highlights of the dashboard include a digital instrument cluster and a 10.25 inch touchscreen infotainment unit Of course the lower variants would get an 8 inch unit but even then the touchscreen infotainment unit will never disappoint you when it comes to its size. Other highlights include a premium leather upholstery, a sporty steering wheel which comes from the Seltos and a choice of 6 or a 7 seater seating layout. Like I said we can't get inside the car to show you exactly how this is on the inside but then again a quick look reveals that there's enough space in the second row. In fact, it looks like the front seats have been pushed entirely backwards and even then there's enough leg space that is visible for the passengers of the middle row. Of course, the third row won't be as roomy as the middle row, but then it definitely looks like the car will provide enough space for your kids to be seated in the last row of the seats. Another highlight of this cabin include roof-mounted aircon vents which are sure to improve the overall cooling of the aircon but then again because of the roof-mounted vents Kia has been unable to provide a panoramic sunroof so those of you who are fond of large sunroofs will be disappointed because this car makes do with a small sunroof Other highlights of the equipment list include a Bose sound system, Apple CarPlay with Android Auto, Kia's Uvo connectivity options, 64 ambient lighting setup, ventilated front seats, seatback tables with cup holders, air purifier, and six airbags along with ABS, ESC, hill start assist, disc brake at all four wheels, tire pressure monitoring system. and rear parking sensors also one thing that we've managed to figure out from our numerous peaks inside is that this cabin is loaded with many usb and type c chargers to keep you connected through your smart devices so we've told you about the exterior we've told you about the interior and finally we have come to the specifications in this area the carens as expected shares a plenty with the seltos it not only gets the same platform it even gets the same engine and transmission options and this definitely isn't a bad thing because you get two fairly potent petrol engines and a stronger of a diesel engine 
The base motor here is a 1.5 liter naturally aspirated petrol engine that outputs a maximum power of 115 PS and a peak torque of 140 Nm. The only transmission option here is a 6 speed manual unit. But then if you go for the 1.4 liter turbocharged petrol engine, you do get a higher power delivery of 140 PS along with a peak torque of 242 Nm. The transmission options here include a 6 speed manual and a 7 speed DCT. And finally, talking about the diesel engine on offer, it offers you 115 PS of maximum power and 250 Nm of peak torque. Over here, the transmissions include a 6 speed MT and a 6 speed torque converter AT. Of course, the fuel efficiency figures and the acceleration figures have not been revealed yet, but then it would be safe to assume that they won't be much lower than what the Seltos has on offer. And that can't be a bad thing at all. So guys, this is all the information that's available on the exterior, interior and specifications of the Kia Carens. Now this car will launch in the first quarter of next year and will go on to lock horns with the Maruti XL6 and the lower variants of Hyundai Alcazar. Let us know if you have any queries, any questions regarding this vehicle. You can send them to us through the comment section below and we'll be quick to answer all your questions. I hope you liked our videos. If you haven't subscribed to us yet, do subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you like our work. Also, if you want us to do a similar walk around of any other vehicle, you can tell us through the comment section below and we promise to be quick to come up with that walk around for you. So that's all we have on this video today. I'm your host Siddharth and I'm sure to meet you again on 91 Wheels.